Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. And today we have 27.1 update. Clouds in motion. We're now clouds are simulated accurately. Uh, the cloud speed is now simulated based on an object's temperature and rotation speed. Check out our clouds guide for a tour through the entire cloud system. Easier appearance editing, uh, more highlights, optimizations, that's cool. Uh, nothing else super- ooh, rim lighting can be adjusted, that's kinda cool. Uh, let's go to the clouds guide. I I'm actually curious on how this works, so I'm gonna go to the actual guide for my first time on any game in my life. I just usually YOLO things. Clouds are an incredibly complex phenomenon, even for climate scientists to simulate with supercomputers, let alone in the universe sandbox on your personal device. How dare you assume I'm not using a supercomputer? You, you guys just don't see the racks of servers in the background. The, uh, the I have a literal skyscraper dedicated to my... It even goes underground, like four miles deep. All right, despite this complexity, we've been taking incremental steps to make our rudimentary cloud simulation more interesting. Let's explore. Let let us explore. Let's let's do that. The earth is spinning too quickly. Yeah, so surface lock, beautiful. So now we can now we're just looking at the, the surface as if it was unmoving and boring. Surface lock is us. Yeah, we already know that. Let's select Earth, open the properties, select appearance, and then expand the cloud part. <gasps> we have cloud maps now? Oh. Storm. Ooh, we got like bands of storms. Wait, was that lightning I saw? If that was lightning I saw, I'm going to be very excited. Did I see lightning there? Hmm, hard to tell. One moment. I need to turn off the uh, view thing so that I can look at the dark side of Earth. Okay, maybe it wasn't lightning. Maybe it was just a star going by that made it light up. I was excited for, like, a millisecond. Okay, uh, clouds maps for rotational period represents the time it takes for the clouds to rotate all the way around the Earth wands. It's negative because they're moving in the opposite direction of their rotation. Reverse the cloud motion by setting the rotational period to plus one month. It takes a full month for clouds to go around the Earth? Really? Oh, huh, I didn't know that. I guess I've never really thought about it. Uh, the speed of the equator shows the speed that clouds are moving relative to the surface at the Earth's equator. Increase it to 50 meters per second. That's pretty fast wind. Oh my god, look at that. We have like storm systems. Um, that's actually really neat. There's like a massive one uh, right here. Oh, look at it. Ooh, big storm. The cloud speed can be simulated based on Earth's properties. Switch it back to simulated. Okay, one property is the difference between the maximum and minimum temperature. Hmm, I have a few ideas on how we could uh, get that difference to go up. <laughs> oh, well, a laser, that's not a bad idea. A laser will do it. All right. Oh, well, yeah. We can really see that we can get those clouds moving pretty damn fast. <laughs> Brilliant, good job. We, uh, we did it good. <laughs> what if we made the Earth spin more slowly? I've already done this, but not in this way. Okay, let's turn this bad boy up. The clouds sped up. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, I didn't expect that. The, why? The cloud speed is influenced by the Coriolis force, which occurs on all rotating objects and causes wind blowing north and south to be redirected towards the east and west. The force is always weaker when an object is rotating more slowly. This allows a pressure difference between the equator and poles to increase the wind speed. Ah! Interesting! I, I did not know this. Learn something new every day. Wow, okay, I, I'm... Very nice, very nice. That's a little bit cooler than even even I had expected it to be. And I'm I'm a professional when it comes to cool things. One moment, let me check on Charlotte to make sure she hasn't like eaten a knife or something. No, I stuffed her Kong full of ice. She 
she thinks ice is like some fantastic thing. Little does she know it has no calories and it hydrates her. It's fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and fire a meteor at Earth and see how this affects the clouds. <laughs> mm, yes, I'm a climate scientist. What do I do on a daily basis? Uh, I fire meteors at the Earth. Uh, something a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. There we go. There we go. This this is this is a little bit more than a meteor slash asteroid. This is actually quite damn big. Um, but we're going to see if this affects the clouds in any way. We can see they're moving at like the same speed as... Okay, what if I put it to storm? Let it make them faster, right? So that we can see it a little bit better. Where's our clouds? Clouds. Clouds. Atmosphere. Oh, shoot. Is it in a different one? Composition. Appearance. Clouds. Storm. Okay, and it's simulated right now, so I guess we'll just see what happens. Um, oh. Yeah, the rotational period changed to act. Oh! <laughs> Way to go! Way to go! Wow, we made the clouds faster, um, but not super noticeably so. Actually, I'm a little bit disappointed. Is is the laser just more effective? It would seem that the laser is more effective. Although, it may just be because I can't see it because of me being dumb and not doing the view thing. So let's go ahead and uh, put put Earth down again and uh, do this properly because I'm bad at doing things properly. Where's the, 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 the view? Surface lock. Fantastic. Okay. All right, where's the greatest country? There is the greatest country, of course, Cuba. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our fire. Shoot, shoot, shoot boop. All right, we got our shoot boop and... Oh, uh, oh, hmm. That's gonna have a greater impact. <laughs> Then even I had anticipated. Oh yeah, that really got the clouds moving and uh, destroyed, disintegrated, turned into nothingness because I accidentally destroyed the entire planet by firing an Earth instead of another object, it's much much smaller. Let's go ahead and try that again. <laughs> Having a good time here. Okay, Earth. Don't worry, I'm getting better. Surface lock. Fantastic. Add. Minor object. We'll do Sedna. Sedna is pretty damn big, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Turn down the time. Fire. Brilliant! This is going to go perfectly. Nothing could possibly go wrong. We can see the clouds. Let's make it stormy so that we can see the clouds even better. Uh, clouds. Hello. Cloud. Cl no, it's under appearance. Clouds. Boom. Storm. Ah, fantastic. And they're currently going at negative one months. Let's see what happens when we uh, hit Central America with this very large rock. I'm sure that nothing could possibly go wrong. Nothing at all. All right. All right, fantastic. Me trying to figure out how to not get my face cam ruining this, but it looks like this is the best angle I'm going to get. And, ooh, wow, four times faster. The clouds got brilliant. And as all the little bits of the collision fall all over, the, oh, they cut holes in the atmosphere in the clouds. That's kind of funny. There's holes in the clouds. It's just too hot at those areas for the clouds to form, so they just kind of die. But look, they're moving so quickly. Brilliant. We've done it. Oh, it's going even faster. It's accelerating. Negative six. Negative, oh, oh geez. Seven. So considering the, uh, the, the speed is determined by the highest temperature versus the lowest, it makes it obvious why global warming would have an effect on this or climate change because the hots are getting hotter and the colds are getting colder. So basically we're screwed. Um, 
and we can prove this using Universe Sandbox. This is actually really cool. I want to do a lot more experimentation with this in the future. Um, I never thought of a cloud update, but I'm glad that they did it because it opens the gate for me to destroy things in even more brilliant ways. Now we can just destroy the weather patterns, you know? Something I've always wanted to do with my life. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. And comment below. It got kind of cut off there. I need to figure out the whole audio video issues I'm having. But until then, thank you all. Um, yeah. Pretty awesome. Maybe more Universe Sandbox videos coming in the future. You guys should all check out Spike IRL where I uh, showed off my trip with Etho across that Long Island Sound. It was pretty cool. Pretty pog. Bye.